Hello, everyone, and welcome to the City of Quincy Board of License Commissioners meeting, January 24th at 4 p.m. I will read into the record the open meeting law. Pursuant to the open meeting law, any person may make an audio or video recording of this public meeting or may transmit the meeting through any medium. Attendees are therefore advised that such recordings or transmission are being made whether perceived or unperceived by those present and are deemed acknowledged and permissible. Sue, can you please call the roll? Yes. Commissioner Castley. Present. Inspector Conlon. Present. Chief Jackson. Present. Chief Keenan. Present. Chair Crispo. Present. Four members. We do have a quorum, so we will go ahead and get to agenda item number one. Here we got in the request of the Jimmy Kennedy Memorial Run for ALS for a special use permit for their annual squirrel run on Saturday, June 10th. Louis Tazi. Hi, Mr. Tazi. How are you today? Good afternoon. Team members of the board, come before you for the 25th year in a row for an event that's enthusiastically supported by Mayor Cole, Chief Keenan, and the entire city. Once again, it'll be on Flag Day. This year, it'll be June 10th. I'm here, obviously, to represent Mr. Rich Kennedy. As you know, the squirrel run is named after Jimmy Kennedy, who was the second member of the Kennedy family to succumb to ALS, first Mr. Chris Kennedy, then Jimmy, and most recently, unfortunately, Jay Kennedy. The squirrel run has now raised over $1 million, and that does not even include the 100-inning softball game, the harpoon race, we raised a quarter of a million dollars. It all goes to the Angel Fund. Dot com, under the auspices and the direction of Dr. Robert Brown at the UMass Medical Center. They're fighting this dreaded disease the best they can. Do they have a cure? No. Mr. Rich Kennedy is battling the disease himself. We're fighting a struggle, we're fighting a battle, but we're gonna stick with it. So with your support on June 10th, we hope to raise about $50,000 again for ALS, all that money will go to the Angel Fund. We take no salaries, we take no stipends. So I'd ask for your support on that day. Thank you, thank you. Um, does anyone here have any questions, concerns regarding the Jimmy Kennedy Memorial Squirrel Race on June 10th, Flag Day? Seeing none, board members? No, it's been a great event for all those years. Congratulations. How long have you been retired now? <laughs> Coming up on 22 years, Chief. Wow. I miss it. It was a yep. wonderful experience being special ed director. People were fantastic. Mm -hmm. And I want to thank you again because your offices at this day, this event, are unbelievably supportive. Thank you, sir. You're welcome. Congratulations. It's a great event. It is a great event, and, and I know that it's been going strong 25 years. That's that's a great accomplishment. Congratulations to you Thank as you, well. Thank you, Nicole. You've been a wonderful supporter of the group. Appreciate it. Any other questions, concerns? No. Nope. Looking for a motion. I'd like to make a motion to grant the request of the Jimmy Kennedy Memorial Run for ALS for a special use permit for the annual squirrel run on Saturday, June 10th. And there's no, is there a rain date? No. No, June 10th, represented by Mr. Louis Tazi. Second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Thank, Thank you very much. Good seeing you. Thank you. Happy New Year. You too. Great job. Great job. <clears throat> Agenda item number two. Here we got in the request of the City of Quincy for a special use permit one day liquor license for the annual Winter Fest on Monday, February 20th from 2 p.m. to 7 p.m. <coughs> on the Hancock Adams Common. Ma Keary um, is unable to be here, um, but they did furnish me um, with a flyer. Um, of this great um, President's Day Winterfest um, event on Monday, February 20th from 2 to 7 p.m. And the event will take place right out here on the Common. Um, it's a fun family day with um, fire and ice show, ice sculptures, puppet show, and a laser show, amongst other things. Um, does anyone here have any questions, concerns regarding the President's Day Winterfest event. 
Seeing none. Board members, any questions, concerns? No, it's an annual event, right? Yes, it is. Uh, I'd like to make a motion to grant the request of the City of Quincy for a special use permit one day liquor license for the annual Winterfest on Monday, February 20th at 2 p.m. to 7 p.m. on the Hancock Adams Common. Second. All in favor? Aye. All set. Next is, <coughs> excuse me, agenda item number three here regarding the request of the Quincy Asian Resources for a special use permit for the annual. Lunar New Year Festival on Sunday, February 5th from 11 a.m. to 4 p.m. at North Quincy High School. David Zhu and Jessica Zhu. Yeah. Hi, how are you? Why don't you tell us about your Gosh, annual know. event? Yes, um, this is a three years, first time after three years, the in-person festival. So we'll be home on February 5th from 11 to 4 at North Quincy High School. So pretty much as usually, you know, we've done this 35th annual. So we have the vendor booth and the performance inside the gym. And we have the food vendor at the cafeteria. We also have some uh, children activities in the Asia. So it's a snow day. If there's no storm day, we will be February 12th. So we are very blessing. We have very support from the mayor's office and all the support from you guys. So we've been doing this for many years and normally we have seven, 8,000 people show up. So I don't know this year, it was the first time, like some people are still concerned about the pandemic, you know, in indoor events, but hopefully we can get maybe four or 5,000 people to be there. Yeah. Excellent, excellent, thank you. Any questions? Um, any questions from anyone here? Questions, concern regarding the Quincy Asian Resources for annual Lunar New Year Festival on February 5th. Seeing none, board members, Commissioner. Uh, just a quick question. Uh, I know you've been running this for many years. Uh, do you happen to have a list of the vendors that will be there? I do, but I don't have that with me. We have okay. like 50 vendors. Yeah. Okay. Do, you, do, you, do you mind emailing them to me? Uh, you want all of them or you want a food vendor only? We, we just need the food vendors. Food vendor, yep. okay. I can tell you right now, food vendor. Okay. Okay, we have a Fuji, and you know, and we have Lucky Dragon, and then we have Korean barbecue at Buildings Row, the fried chicken, and then we have uh, 100 miles, you know, from Kenman, Kenman uh, Market, and we have one more, um, four countryside, also from Kenman Market. Then we have uh, Emma Macron from Warfen. I think he will apply because he's not from Quincy. So he sailed to uh, Macron. Macron? So Mac she was there at um, the August mood. So it's pre baked. Mm -hmm. right? It's pre baked. It's not, you know, it's kind of like a cookie. Yeah. That's it. Okay. Yeah. And I can give you a card in case. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Have you spoken with Captain McCuska about security concerns no, and uh, we have meeting. traffic? We're going to have a meeting this Thursday. We will have an, um, probably you guys. So we hope that you can have a couple of police there. Either, you know, because there's something going on happen in uh, Los Angeles. There's right. some kind of... We'll know, have security. The security. So we might have a couple of police inside and then a couple maybe outside. You know, mm -hmm. the traffic could be very conscious. Mm -hmm. I mean, I do you want me to give... Rick McCuska, he's Rick. the captain. Yeah. He deals with it probably through, if you've got a meeting on Thursday, he may well be at the meeting. He probably will be there. We, yeah. we have some additional concerns. We're going to make sure that it's a safe event yes, for everybody. Yes. So. yes. Okay. I, I, we have a Thursday meeting at 11 again. Perfect. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Looking for a motion. <clears throat> uh, madam, I'd like to make a motion to grant the request of the Quincy Asian Resources for a special permit for the annual Luna New Year Festival on Saturday. February 5th uh, from 11 a.m. to 4 p.m. at North Quincy High School. Second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. You're all set. Good luck. Thank you. Good luck. You. Next is agenda item number four. Here we got the request of the House Net Congregational Church for a special use permit, one day liquor license for the annual chili cook off on Saturday. February 4th from 1 p.m. to 4 p.m. Ralph Jacobs. Hi, Ralph. How are you? Hi, doing? Nicole. How are you? Good, thank you. Why don't you tell us about your event? Thank you for uh, inviting me this afternoon, you and the board members. Uh, this is our 12th annual uh, chili cook-off. 
Uh, we didn't have it for two years because of the COVID. Um, we typically have about 150, possibly 200 people that attend this. It's a very neighborhood uh, type event. Uh, people from Hausnack, people from all Quincy and beyond. And uh, we have uh, typically have about 20 different contestants that will make and serve chili. And folks can uh, go, it's only a $5 entry fee. You can pretty much eat all the chili you want if you like chili. And uh, we'll be accepting contributions uh, at the door of uh, toiletries for the Dove organization. And um, we, uh, we'll have uh, Boy Scouts there that will serve <coughs> hot dogs and soda for those who aren't uh, uh, chili lovers, and uh, it's just a nice community event. People get out in the winter time and you know rub elbows a little bit and have some chili. So great, thank you. Any questions, concerns from anyone regarding the Hausnick Congregational Church <coughs> for a special use permit the, for the, the rain day? No, it's inside. So yeah, yeah. Looking for a motion. I'd like to make a motion to grant the request of the Hausneck Congregational Church for a special use permit, one day liquor license for the annual chili cook-off on Saturday, February 4th from 1 to 4 p.m. Represented by Ralph Jacobs. Second. All in favor? Aye. 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 You're all Thank set. Thank you very much. Take care. <coughs> Have fun. Thanks. Agenda item number five, Pam regarding the request of THT Inc. doing business as Town Pizza for a common victual license for the premise located at 13 through 19 Copeland Street, formerly Adams Pizza and Sub. Proposed manager, Maharn Habchi. Maroon. Maroon, Maroon Habchi. Proposed hours of operation, 11 a.m. to 11 p.m. Maroon. How's it going? How are you? Good. Why don't you tell us about your concept there? Um, I've been in business for 20 years, personally, and we're trying to expand. We're down from Hall, so uh, it is an existing place, Adam's Pizza, as you know. It's been closed for a couple of years, so we're trying to revive it, try to go in there and operate as a small neighborhood pizza place. What did you say your experience is? In, in the same industry. I've been doing it for 20 years. I have my own place already in Hall. All that? Yeah, it's called L Street Pizza. So the, the community is getting smaller for us over there, so we're trying to get <coughs> to a bigger city. You're going to keep that place as well? Yeah, exactly. Thank you. Any uh, questions, concerns regarding THT Inc. doing business as Pizza Town for a common victual license for the premise located at 1319 Copeland Street? Um, board members, Commissioner Catholic. Uh, any changes to the business at all, or any opening date determined yet? Uh, no, we're shooting for uh, towards the end of February. Still have a couple tuning up to do. Uh, no changes to the, to the building or equipment or anything like that. Just better food. I hope so. <laughs> <laughs> and is it just pizza, or are you? It's a little bit more pizza sandwich, uh, like a. Pizzeria type of menu. Pizzeria. Okay. Pizza, subs, salads, everything that. Looking for a motion. I'd like to make a motion to grant the request of THT Inc. to a business as Pizza Town for a common video license for the premises located at 13 through 19 Copeland Street. Proposed manager of Maroon, Habchi. Proposed hours of operation 11 a to 11 p.m. Thank you. Second. All in favor? Aye. 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 Good luck. Agenda item number six. Here regarding the request of the President's Clam Box LLC doing business as the Clam Box Marco Shapiro, Spiro Fanny manager for a transfer of the on premise wine and malt beverage restaurant license presently held by Spikey Brothers Inc. For the premise located at 789 Quincy Shore Drive, Attorney Robert Fleming. Thank you, Madam Chair. Uh, members of the board, uh, Rob Fleming, Fleming and Fleming. I do represent the applicant here, Mr. Marco Fanny. Mr. Fanny is here with us today as well. He is the manager of the President Clambox LLC. Uh, this request today is for a transfer of common victual herb um, as well as a beer and wine, which is on site today at 789 uh, Quincy Shore Drive. Um, 
So again, this is a transfer request. Um, Mr. Fanny, a little bit about him, and he's here again today, as I said, if you have any specific questions for him. Uh, he's been involved in the industry, uh, restaurant industry, for many years now, over 20 years. Uh, he operates a couple now. Um, one, I think, Miss Kendrigan has, has frequented a place in Norwell. Um, I think it's Strawberry Fair, yeah. is it, in, in Norwell. Um, that's a full alcohol license, so he does have that experience uh, there um, as well. Um, again, a lot of the operations will kind of remain the same here um, as far as, obviously, the cuisine, uh, which has done very well for the last 18 to 20 years there at that site. Um, my understanding is deliveries are in the back. There's parking out back as well for employees. Um, the peak seasons, obviously, spring and summer, um, obviously plenty of parking for employees. He's, a, he's anticipating about 15 employees at that time. I think most, as you can anticipate, most of the consumers will park at the beach and, and walk over to enjoy a nice lunch uh, at, at the clan box. Um, so again, a lot of things are going to remain the same. Uh, same floor plan, same number of seating uh, seats as well. Inside and outside is a little bit of a outside seating area as well. Um, even some of the same vendors as well and, and scheduled deliveries, uh, which I, again are, are out back as well. So any specific questions for me, I'm happy to answer. Um, any questions, concerns from anyone here regarding President's Clam Box, doing business as the Clam Box for a transfer of their on-premise wine and malt beverage license? Seeing none, board members, any questions, concerns? In, in hours of operation, <coughs> are, are going to continue 11, 11 to 9. 11 um, to 9. I, I, this is, I don't want to say a seasonal business, uh, but obviously the big months are spring and summer. Uh, they're going to try to, they're going to kind of gauge it and see how much of the year they can, they can stay open, I think. I say it now that our winters are getting milder, you know, and then we'll get, you know, we'll get snowstorm. <laughs> Don't next week. It. I know, I'm jinxing it here. Uh, but they hope to, to stay open for a good part of the year. That's that's their hopes. But they're gonna okay. they're gonna kind of gauge that. In their opening date, do they have one? Um, in March. In March, okay. What were the hours there before? Do you know? I think it's eleven to nine. Eleven to ten. Okay. I mean, I have no problem if you want to go a little bit later. Okay. If it works via 11 to 9, seems a little early, but that's up to you. 11 to 10. Okay, 11 to 10 would be great hours of operation. And yeah. you don't have to stay till 10, but at least if yeah. you decide you want to. Sure. Thank you, Chief. Uh, the only thing I would say is before opening, uh, please contact our office. That way we can do the inspection. Yeah, yeah absolutely. Thank you. I've heard a lot about you know your business in, in Norwell, and uh, I'm sure it'll be very successful here, too. That's great. Thank you. Well, Sui's there has got to be good. <laughs> <laughs> Looking for a motion. Sorry, sir. <laughs> <laughs> I'd like to make a motion to grant the request of President Clambox, LLC, doing business as the Clambox. Marco Spiro Fanny, manager for the transfer of on premise um, wine and malt, malt beverage restaurant license presently held by Swanky Brothers, Inc., for the premises located at 789 Quincy Shore Drive. Hours of operation 11 to 10. Represented by Attorney Robert Fleming. Second. All in favor? All right. Aye. Aye. Great. Thank you so You're much. You're all set. Good luck. Thank you. Agenda item number seven here we got the request of KTMM Inc. doing business as New Windsor Dim Sum House and Bar. Kenneth Campo Lung, manager for transfer of the all on premise all alcohol beverage license presently held by CS Restaurant Inc. For the premise located at 706 Hancock Street, Attorney Mihai Hun. Hi. Good afternoon. Why don't you tell us about your plans at the new Windsor Dim Sum House in Bar? As, as you know, uh, Windsor Dim Sum has been at the same location for over 10 years. And uh, for our purpose, um, the uh, KTMM Inc., they are taking over the business. We are going to maintain the same operation, the same menu, just the, you know, the, the crew has changed. Um, now let me talk about the new crew. KTMM, there are five shareholders. Uh, Mr. The proposed manager, Ken Long, who's here today. 
He has been in the uh, restaurant business for over 30 years. He is an owner and operator of a restaurant in Chinatown. It's called Jumbo Seafood. Um, he is familiar with uh, how the alcohol safe service safety, food safety, and also we have uh, with us uh, Mr. Uh, Hui, uh, Main Hui. His family owns restaurant business for over 20 years, so he is there as well, available to step in as um, in case there are any emergency <coughs> where our proposed manager is not available. So we have an excellent crew, has many, many years of restaurant business combined, and uh, we are actually just taking over an existing business. And uh, hopefully we can um, offer the same uh, great service to the community and uh, Food is the main part of our service. Uh, we are just offering alcohol service as enhancement to uh, enhance our pa patrons' experience, dining experience. And they are here. They can answer any question you may have, and I can also answer any question you, ha you may have on the application. Great, thank you. Um, the application is here and all in order um, for KTMM, does anyone have any questions regarding uh, KTMM Inc. doing business as the new Windsor Dim Sum House and Bar located at 706 Hancock Street? Seeing none, board members? Um, the only thing that I will say is if you could check in with our office so that we can do an inspection uh, prior to your uh, opening or uh, full takeover. Absolutely. And is it going to close for a bit or are you just going to take o right over the operations? Mm -hmm. As soon as we hear something from ABCC yes. with our approval, we will arrange that. Uh, there are not going to be any closure, maybe just a day for cleanup, but basically it's just going to be, um, we're going to pick it up and run. Okay. And the hours of operation there? Uh, it's going to be the same on um, Monday to Friday, 11 a.m. to 9 p.m., Saturday, Sunday, 10 a.m. to 9 p.m. Thank you. Uh, I'd like to make a motion to grant a request of KTMM Inc. doing business as New Windsor. I'm sorry, you're so uh, uh, Change the hour to close at 11. Yes. I have no problem with that. Yep. You the folks. Uh, Monday through Sunday. Yep. Monday through Sunday. 11 yeah. to 11. 11 to 11. Yeah, I have no problem with that. Okay. So, Sunday 10 to 11, 10 a.m. to 11, and Monday through Friday 11 to 11? Yes. Yep. Yes. Okay. Thank you. <clears throat> I was wondering why you were going for 9 o'clock. Sure. Um, I'd like to make a motion to grant the request of KTMM Inc. doing business as New Windsor Dim Sum House and Bar, Kenneth, Camp, Ken, Kenneth Long, manager for a transfer of the on-premise all alcohol beverages license, restaurant license presently held by CNS Restaurant Inc. for the premises located at 705 Hancock Street. Hours of operations are 11 to 11 Monday through Friday and 10 to 11 Saturday and Sunday, represented by Attorney Mihai Hu. Second, I close. All in favor? All right. Goodbye. Right. Thank you so You're much. All set. Good afternoon. Thank you. Thank you. Good luck. Thank you. Good luck. Good day. Uh, that does conclude our agenda items. Looking for a motion to accept the minutes from the January 10th, 2023 hearing and waive the reading. Make a motion and waive the reading, please. Second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Our next hearing is on February 14th, 2023. Looking for a motion to adjourn. Make a motion to adjourn. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.